Right. So definitely, I I could definitely see the the PS2 pick for Game One. I, I wouldn't be surprised. Yeah. But I mean, that's, I mean that's good for his boomerang setups. It's good for Master Mario and his up air setups. Right. And I mean that's the other thing. You know, Mario likes to approach with aerials a lot, but he'll always set up a fireball. And you know, it's going to be interesting to see how the fireball interacts with the boomerang because boomerang is also like a very much an anti air projectile too. Right. They're just, just going to cancel them out. That's all I feel. That's going to happen. Like right, boomerang right there yeah. goes into the arrows. Was a fireball. Yeah. And so, you know, it's, it's going to be like who can sneak in their projectiles more in that, in like neutral under But here we go. Gets a parry off of it, not enough to combo, but yet again, getting all these parries, but just not getting it on light enough moves to where you can actually get a solid punish off of it. Yeah, if anything, Yellow is incredibly feels like he's safe in this game. L less lag, but, you know, kind of harder to kill with. Uh, just, again, just feeling from what, from what I see from Gunzan actually still really makes it like, work really well. Right? You know, that's the other thing Mario has to worry about. You know, he likes to go for a lot of grab combos, so he also, always, he also has to worry about the boomerang coming back to hit him. Well, also the out-of-shield options, I think it's actually better to go ahead and pick the risk, even though that you go ahead and choose. He can go ahead and uh, uh, up the out-of-shield pretty well. The out-of-shield options are pretty well going. So, uh, honestly, his grab options, I think, is really well approached from him. And again, both players are keeping it very even, you know. It, it's going to really come down to, you know, who can force the other player to, you know, make the committal move. Right. I feel like we're going to see a very patient game. That might, or you're just going to have to see who goes ahead and stands the will of being that patient. I'm not sure that's going to be Master Mario. He's always been a step on the gas, step on the gas, go, go, go. I mean, Master Mario is definitely the type of player where it's like, I have one neutral, and now I'm going to kill you. Yeah, well, he's got back there. He's got him off stage, so there's a start to something. But not quite. Ooh, but gets the jump with the up air. You know, I, oh, he, I felt like he read the air dodge, but he just didn't expect, you know, Young Link to just air dodge in, so he, the back air was his base. I actually feel like he's still filling him out on that. So you can try to figure out when his habits are for the air dodge. That's how Master Mario actually figures out. He goes in and figures out, hey, you're going to air dodge about here, and I can go ahead and punish you for that there. Ooh, Ooh. good air. And again, that clean back air into uh, pretty much imagination at that point, just because Young Link gets so many things off of that one hit back air. Ooh, speaking of back airs. Oh, yeah. Nice back air. I mean, both players getting kills off of their back airs, but you know what? It's going to be interesting to see how they even things up right now, because now we're back at neutral. We're back at neutral. We're back at even percent. You know, this is going to be, you know, who can find their kill often first. Okay. Okay. I, I like that. Master Mario's trying to start something. Trying to get something started. Only at about 89%. Ooh, try throwing out the boomerang, but not going to get there in time. Mario going for the ledge trap. Not going to be able to find it, but Link getting the counter option. And yet again, this is, this is just such really good high-level smash to watch. Just because you see how both players interact within the neutral and how they throw out the option that they think is going to like best suit them, you know? Exactly. Master Mario trying to go ahead and just get him off stage with that. Oh, I, uh, that, that smash he goes in like the, he likes to just go throw out random. I just like that. Damn, I actually noticed that. Yeah. Not going to get by that. You know what? I expected Zan to connect with that forward air, but you know what? Master Mario's just like, I'm going to DI down and in so that you won't connect it, and I'm going to kill you with the up air instead. No, no, that was really well uh, fought with that board pot. Well played. Master Mario's still a high percent. Zan can go ahead and try to start trying to figure out where he can kill. If he can get in first. Okay, good up tilt. Again, sneaks in that back air, but not going to be able to combo or anything. Ooh, there we go. Ooh, that footstool to bomb the down air? Oh my god, dude. Zan is such a master of item play right there. What a set, what a combo. Oh my gosh, can I get a sandwich with that combo? A fries and a shake too? Yeah. Damn. I feel like Zan is very much knows how all of his projectiles work, and you know, he knows that, like, okay, if this is going to hit, I can do X, Y, Z off of the confirm. And yeah, I but feel where like did this come from? Like, suddenly he just started exploding out to go ahead and, like, just throw out these random combos. Right. Like, it's suddenly he's already, Mario Master Mario's already at 114% on his last stock for his first game. Right. I feel like if you're playing Young Link, who definitely has the hardest time killing of the three Links, you know, you need to have those combos. You need to have those, like, insane setups that are, like, guaranteed off of, you know, the bomb, the boomerang, you know? Because otherwise, you're not going to get the kill until, like, 160%. Oh, gets that forward throw. Okay, he's off stage. Oh, gets the projectile back air! Master Mario cleaning up the first game. Wow, that was actually really tense. I mean, yeah, I mean, both players played super, super tight in the way that, like, okay, I'm not trying to give them any option. But at a certain point, you have to commit to one option. And you know what? If they read it, if they react to it, then you know what? You're going to get hit. 
and especially with Mario back here, he can afford to have the single hits to kill. You know? Yeah, no, that was, a, that was still an incredible first game. I actually, that, that started to pick up really quickly up to that last stock. Really love the showing that these two players are playing against each other. And running it back. Kind of like they're like, ah, okay, I just want to go ahead and play the game. I love it. Master Mario missing, missing up his map for now. Like that, but, and Dan giving his chances to go ahead and capitalize after that. Good back air chain. Oh, but that's going to get punished. Let's see for how much. Not much. Getting in, opting to go for down throw, you know. You see most Mario's opting to go for up throw nowadays. But, you know, I think he might want for down throw just to see if he can get a DI mix up on, you know, how Young Link, you know, I feel react. like sometimes it's, a, you know, a Smash 4 habit. Well, that's, that's what it is. All right, Luis, uh, trying to go into the punish. Not able to get more than an up air off that. And just see Zan going for all these down airs, but you know what? That's going to get punished. Well, Master Mario going to clean up that first stock with that up beat. Well played. Yeah, I was about to say, you know, I feel like he's trying to bait out an option with these down airs, but you got to understand, like, even though it's not an entirely laggy move, it still has some lag to it. But you know what? He gets the clean off off stage, so definitely evens up back the stocks. I'm definitely liking that. I felt like it looked like almost, like almost like a player prank up. Really smart thing. But there you go. Master Mario going and trying for that up there and not getting anything off after it. Okay. 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 Oh, oh my god. You know, and you know he was DIing out to avoid any of that, but you know, he just ate a solid percent right there. No, this man's trying to send a message. He don't even care. Master Mario always going to be savage. If you start sleeping on him, he'll go ahead and just go ahead and try to wake you up whenever you go ahead and sneak it in those forward airs whenever you can. All right, goes in, throws out the fireball. Not able to clip that. Tries the dash attack, too. It was really great edge but not quite. Good trade there by, for Master. Right. And I mean, that's such good awareness. That, like, that up air comes out so fast. I believe it's like Frank 3. Woo, yeah, no, it's fast. Yeah. Especially that up smash, too. I'll tell you, that's really fast, too, cleaning up that, uh, that second stock. Uh, Sam turning on his last stock. Pretty, uh, pretty hard to go ahead and find his way to go ahead and clean this up. Get that up there in the air. I mean, that's Mario's kind of the name of the game is just, you know, Master Mario just going in and just tacking out all this percentage. You Zan think that's it? Is that it? Game. That's it! Master Mario cleaning up game two, two to zero. Zan on his uh, winner side stock game. I mean, as I was saying right there, you know, Master Mario can easily rack up as much damage as Youngling can, except Master Mario can kill. Uh -huh. You know? Like, Young Link, he, he needs very, very specific setups to make kill. You know? Uh -huh. He needs either for you to drop shield in order to get a bomb or a boomerang to kill, or just get a solid edge guard with Nair. Or you start know? off with back air one or right. any of those. Right. But yet again, those aren't, they're, they're not like predictable, but like they're very telegraphed. Like, uh -huh. in the sense that, like, okay, you know what a Young Link might go for. He can't just throw out a move that's safe that will also kill, like Mario can. You know? Or Mario, like, because Young Link is so light, he can throw out, like, the up air string, the up B, and that will kill. Or he can just sneak in one back air, and that will kill. True, true. She can even go ahead and use the neutral, too. Good to stop sitting with that fireball. But that back air setup, only try to get the grab afterwards. I respect him for that. As far as that, that second hit of the down air, could act after that. The lingering hit, sorry. Oh, using the flood, and you know what? Trying to get the. the no, recovery to ledge, but no, oh, Zan tethered immediately. Really flashy for a second there. I was hoping to see something after that. He back aired into arrow into another back air. I like seeing this. Zan's a little bit flashy. Here. I mean, I feel like it's just Zan knowing that, like, okay, I'm going to throw off these projectiles and because this is where, like, he's going to be. And if it hits, then, like, I can combo off of it. Yeah, and there's that footstool bomb into, into the actually, down air again. That was actually really good to see, too. Still not going to clear up stuff. I, but I love these little exchanges that he's getting off of. There we go. Oh, trying to find the fair, but you know what? Gets the frame trap air dodge with the dash attack instead. Mm -hmm. I like it. Using like a Cory sword. I love it. Uh, I'm sure that I think it's a uh, Kokiri. Thank you for correcting me. Oh, yeah. so somebody go ahead and correct me. Ooh, okay, good with that up air trade. Master Mario getting with that back air. Right. Trying to go ahead and clean up the stock. Not quite finding it yet. Here we go, throwing the boomerang, but you no, know, coming back on his stage, and you see Zan knowing so well that he has enough room to come up to stage with the uh, bomb and arrow. Back here actually coming up the master arrow. Uh, bomb oh. is set up, doesn't matter, dash attack. Pushes oh. him a little bit further, that's funny. Yeah. Oh, I mean, I like how he threw out the fireball, 
just because like okay the bomb is going to explode anyway so i know you can recover from this but let me just tack on like a little extra percent to see if i can get you down there low where when the bomb explodes you're going to be not close to the stage every little bit helps take what you can get right. master mario just needs to find a straight hit it feels like a back air a down air even would go ahead and do it i might actually i might you know i might even debate a see if an up air would do it but there's that down air yeah I mean, definitely at 170, I would imagine that an upper could do it. Ah, uh, maybe. It's Young Link. He's super light. Super light. Yeah. <laughs> young Link, okay, pushes him off the stage. Right. And gets the read on the air dodge or the, the jump from ledge, if my bad. But you know what? Not enough percent, so he can't really you know, use the hit set on it to combo into anything else. Really good. He's setting up those bomb setups. He's actually taking a lead. Okay. Arrow, arrows, more arrows. Oh, my God. No. All these arrow combos, and you know what? I've. I've been on the receiving end of that, and you just feel like, yeah, he can't get another arrow, and he throws another arrow, and he just, you know, you don't feel like you want to air dodge, because if you air dodge, he's going to hit you with something harder. Well, yeah, the Master Mario on his last stock for this game. Either he's going to go ahead and bring it back, or Zan's going to go ahead and take this game. Ooh, Ooh. you're sleeping on him! You can't sleep on him! You can't, you have to, you have to tech those, my guy! I mean, I was going to say, like, it's Master Mario. He can definitely steal stocks when he feels like <laughs> it. <laughs> I didn't think he could. He just, he just did that on a whim. You, you doubt the fact that Master Mario would go for a fair to potentially, like, take <laughs> the game? I mean, honestly, he, he, I felt like he was kind of just, like, taking a backseat. Like, all right, I can sleep in here, my guys. Ugh. You feel like he's just like, dude, guys, like, I'm going to hit him with this fair. <laughs> whenever know? I go, whenever I want to. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm loving it, though. Zan, though, he, he ain't free about it. Oh, oh, oh. That's, oh, good air dodge, good air dodge. He avoided the last up air, and that up air to up might have finished it right there. But you I know what? Oh, he wanted the fair. He yeah. wanted it again. He wanted another one. All right. But you know what? Zan getting the punish off of it. No, nope. Coming down with the aggressive nair to just avoid the combo. Oh, this is getting really, really intense. Right. Master Mario is so long. Right. All right. No, using the platforms to avoid it, but oh. the down air almost stealing the game from underneath oh, Master Mario. Smash! Oh, oh my gosh, Master Mario cleaning up that game three. I didn't expect it. I thought Zan had that game in the bag, and Master Mario turned.